Hi guys and welcome to part 30 of ASP.NET MVC core tutorials. On the last part we created two navigation links for our navigation bar and on this part we are going to add an additional navigation item but it's going to be dynamic. We are going to add the dynamic menu using a view component and this new item is going to consist of our drinks categories. So since we are going to use view components to display this menu the first step is that we need to add our new view component and we name the view component category menu. Next we inherit from the view component base class. Let's import the necessary namespace. And since we need to get all the categories, we need to use the i category repository. We inject it in our constructor. And the last step is the creation of i view component result. And inside the invoke method, we need to get all the categories by using the categories repository dot categories and we order them by name and we simply return them. The category menu view component needs a view to render all the data. So for that, go to the shared folder. Inside the shared folder, you have the components folder and inside the components folder, create a new folder with the same name of our view component, which is category menu. And inside this folder, create a new file named default.csharphtml. I'm going to copy paste some code from my GitHub repository and provide a link for you down below on the description section. So what this simply does is going to create a drop down and for each list item is going to create a link which will redirect the user to the drink list and the category of the drink. And at the end of this drop down we are going to have the view all drinks option. To use the category menu view component we need to go to the layout page and invoke it between home and contact us links. So you need to write a way component evoke a sync and the name of the view component. Let's run the application and check the result. So now we see that the application has run successfully and on the navigation bar, you are going to see a third option, which is a drinks option. And this is a drop down with three options, the alcoholic, non-alcoholic and view all drinks. If you select alcoholic, then you will be redirected to the drink list page with the category alcoholic and here you see only the alcoholic drinks. If you select the non-alcoholic then you are going to be redirected to only non-alcoholic drinks and in here you will always see the category name for these drinks so for alcoholic this will be alcoholic and the last option is going to be the view all drinks option and in here you can see all the drinks alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks all together. So in case I'm going to add another category I simply add it on the database and it's going to automatically be rendered here in this category. So this is how you create a dynamic dropdown. This is all for this part. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.